Hi everyone, this is Kath from Cassie's Creations in Boone Delstain. I just wanted to do a quick um, video on a flip cup, which I haven't done for so long. Um, I couldn't find a square canvas, so I'm going to use a heart. And I may do a little balloon dip, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. So because of that, I will add our Boom Booster Cell Enhancer Drops. And I do have a torch handy, which I don't usually torch, to be honest, but I'm going to for this one. Um, all right, so my colours. I'm going to use a few colours today. So this is quite a large canvas. I think it's 35 by 35, so I am going to need a bit of product. Um, so I'm just going to pop these colours. So that was our Gordian Finch Mauve. This is... Uh, Mulga Parrot Green. It's such a nice colour. Um, then I might pop some of our Native Violet Purple in there, which is divine. Our colours are really highly pigmented, so... Oops, I forgot to add my Boom Booster drops. Really, I should have added the drops um, probably after my first colour went down into the cup. So... I'm going to add three, so I've added three drops there. Um, it's best to always have your Boom Booster drops sandwiched in between colours. <clears throat> okay, so this is a mixture of Lily Pilly Pink mixed with our Pearlescent Pink. Our Lily Pilly on its own is stunning colour, but it's really heavy. So I will often... Um, just pop in a little bit of that. I will often mix the two together if I'm using multiple colours. My nozzle's a bit blocked there. That's our pearlescent teal. I really want to make sure that our Boom Booster drops are covered. We don't want that to be the first thing that comes into contact with the canvas or else you will get some pitting. So golden model yellow. I will put a little bit more of native violet in there. I'll just finish it off with a bit of that pearlescent pink mix. Okay, so colours into my cup. No particular order. I am going to pop some white down now. So with Boom, my white, I want it to be the last thing that goes into the cup if I'm wanting um, cells. Our white um, is a weight of many colours. So if I, it's a, of similar weight to some colours. So if I actually put this first into the cup, when I flip my cup over, it's going to be the colour that sits on top. And because it's quite light, um, it'll actually just cover up the other colours, so we don't want that. So my white is my last colour into the cup. So I've added my three drops of Boom Booster. I haven't done a dirty pour on or a dirty flip cup on one of these canvases, so I'm not quite sure how much product I'm going to need. Okay, so I'll just flip that up. I may need to add more, I'm not sure. We'll let that go for a sec. Yeah, I don't think I have quite enough. What I might do is I'll just go and add some extra white around here. And I'm just going to spread around a little bit. And this is just because I'm, I'm working outside and also it is a large canvas. So I don't think I have enough product in there. probably only got about 50 mils in there and it's quite a big canvas so but with boom as long as it's wet you can continue to add to it and it will still dry completely level so that's not a drama at all which is good so I'm not being particularly fussy here I will touch up my sides just a bit while I wait for um, 
that cup to drain out. These heart canvases, they've got a lot of ridges on them um, and crinkles in the canvas, like folds. So just make sure you really do get the edges covered up well. The birds have come out, which is really nice. So Boom's non-toxic. I'm getting it on my hands, but it's non-toxic. It's water-based. It comes off. I've just got to clean my hands in water, and it's fine. Of course, if I get it onto my clothes, it's going to stain, because it's also a dye. So here we're using Boom as a for a form of fluid art. So we don't need to use any other products. We just go and use Boom straight from the bottle. If you find it's a bit thick for you, um, I'm used to it and love it but if you find it's a bit thick for you you don't need to add any other mediums but you can water it down a little bit with some water I actually don't do that now okay, let's see where our cup is where our cups at Ooh. Maybe I should have added a bit more yellow. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Okay. So I'm just going to start tilting this around. Oh my gosh. Hang on. I have to keep you guys in view. Hope you guys can see this. So with me, I have a personal preference. If I know I'm going to torch, but I will actually stretch out my design and then do my torching. I don't see the point in torching and then stretching out your cells. I, I just, that's just a personal thing. Now, a lot of these colors, um, once I, if I do decide to do a balloon dip, they're going to come out and look spectacular in a way so they'll become uncovered and I don't mind a bit of a negative space so if I have some white extra white hanging around that doesn't bother me in the slightest if it bothers you just get another little bit of a mix and just pour it around the edge but personally I actually really like it so I'm just going to tilt this down this way a little bit more. How awesome are those colours? So I hope you guys can see that. And I'll show you what I do for any bubbles in a moment. Now I'll just bring it over this way a little bit. <clears throat> um, I'm really stretching this out because if I do go ahead and do a dab with my balloon like I do a balloon kiss if I've got um, a heap of product there it's just going to move around too much so I'm stretching it out and that will my balloon kiss will stain um, information a bit more okay I got rid of that I don't like the streaky bit that was down there so now I'll just tilt this way but I don't mind that okay now I'll spin that around so you guys can see it so now so there we go <clears throat> going to leave that for a minute now I will give it a quick torch normally I wouldn't I don't torch very often but I put the boom booster drops in you don't have to torch with those I'm choosing to just because for this technique if I'm going to dip my balloon I like to have a few cells happening now there's a few bubbles so I'm just going to tap my canvas down and they should all disappear if not I'll just stab at it 
Why is that little bubble staying there? Maybe it wasn't bubble. Okay, let's pull straight. I think my table's crooked. Um, all right, so I'll do a quick torch. Just a really quick pass over. Maybe it'll scare the flies away. Like I said, for this technique, see I've got lots of wormies and stuff coming up. That's because I'm torching, but when you do a balloon kiss, it actually adds to it, I think. If you haven't watched um, Jilly Q video, do yourself a favour and watch one. She is the absolute balloon goddess, seriously. going to leave that to sit for 10 minutes so I will pause the video I will. so I'm going to let it sit for 10 minutes and that's just so that it finishes resting and then when I come back with my balloon kiss everything's rested I'll do the kiss and it should stay in place so that's the plan so I'm just going to let it sit and rest for 10-15 minutes Hi everyone, I'm back. I just took you guys through the whole process of my technique of balloon dipping and forgot to push record. So this will be added onto the video. You're going to notice a big gap where it goes from seeing it resting to all of a sudden it's got the balloon embellishments. So in a way it's probably not a bad thing because I actually buggered up a few of them. <clears throat> so... I'll just take you through now. I think it ended up being really pretty. But what you missed out is me getting quite frustrated where I had to dip the balloon a couple of times and add a little bit more product because I let it sit for a little bit too long. Um, but here's the result. And in the video where I was talking to myself, I did actually say, um, if you haven't already, Jilly Cube does some amazing balloon um, kiss tutorials and she is just the queen it is like an extension of her uh, arm actually so I would definitely um, watch some of her videos you won't regret it and compared to me she is a, a legend at it so she's how you want to balloon dip but look aren't, isn't this gorgeous I think it is I hope you do it's just come up really, really nice. So I will add photos and I don't know if I said it, but I did say it during the time that I was meant to be recording. If you haven't already, please subscribe. I'll be popping up as many videos as possible um, when my kids are quiet or when I've bribed them with food, that kind of thing. Um, but um, I'll pop up as many videos as possible, so please subscribe. And if you haven't already, join the Facebook group. It's fantastic. Lots of really, really lovely people all helping each other. Okay, so remember, it's the Facebook group, Boom Gel Stain. Um, not the page. There you go. Isn't that awesome? Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.